Yeah. April 17th, 2023. We got Papa Nightmare, aka. What's all the names you got, my boy? We got okay, Nate so, Robinson. So, so we, what happened, man? So, so you so you recently made the news, bro. I did. And I we, did. we let's start off from the start of the story. Me and you met each other about a month ago. I was out here live streaming. Yep. And you you were uh, you were real everyone is what, calling what, what was my words? My words was uh, You you asked if you politely you politely asked if you could shoot your gun into the ground. No, no, I was like I, I said you, uh, I walked up and I said Will you will you feel me committing a crime? That's what it was. That was that was the line right there. Will you feel me committing a crime? You said what kind of crime? I said, I just wanna fire my pistol off. I'm gonna discharge my weapon in city limits. I'm gonna fire it into the ground. You said no. So I respected it, you know, couldn't do that. We ended up having a further conversation to let me know, or to let you know why I even had the damn pistol. I had the pistol out here because out here on the spring water trail, there was some men that were taking advantage of the females, raping them out here. I had several cases throughout the last two years of females getting taken advantage of and the youth in the area getting touched by adults. So I was out here, you know, just trying to show people because everybody kept saying, this nigga's got a CO2 gun. He's got a BB gun. I wanted to show them live, this is a real nine millimeter. It's not out here to hurt nobody but sexual offenders, the ones who wanna rape our kids, rape our wives, our daughters, our sons, our cousins. I'm after the rapists. I'm not just after everybody like that. That's not the type of person I am, you know? Uh, like I want to keep the people of the trail safe. I know that we had the incident involving the news the other day, uh, where I, I made headline of the news. Everybody thinks I am this murderer or this, I don't know what the fuck they think I am, but it was unnecessary. The, the level that they took, that the police took everything to, like they didn't need to bring out 43 fucking squad car units or 47 or something like that. They didn't need to bring three SWAT cars, a National Guard, the bomb robots, the drones, and the, the canine unit, but they brought all that out for just me. <laughs> you know, uh, for just one guy with 11 one, bullets? One guy with a 9mm pistol. With 11 here. bullets? Yep, uh, yep, with 11. Yep, that's right. Fully loaded. <laughs> I didn't even pull it out. I didn't aim it at nobody. And you never well, pulled no, no. the gun out, then why do you think no, no, that no, they no. were called? Excuse me. Let me correct myself. I did pull the gun out to show one of the workers from Rapid Response it is real. I said like this, look, dude, it is real. I didn't point it at anybody. It went straight up and down. I showed so they could see the chamber and all that. And then I put it right back in my pocket because he was telling his workers that it's just a BB gun. I didn't want to point it at anybody because I didn't want them to think I Why was Why do you think he out. was saying it's a BB gun? Do you think he's seen our video that hit 4 million views? It could have been because of the video or it could because have Because that video is so popular in Southeast Portland now. Well, there's some people out here on the trail. Uh, I'm not going to name their names, but there were some individuals who were talking about they was going to take over my set. Uh, they were talking about they're going to take over the GD or they're going to take over the folks uh, or they were going to take over my... my uh, branch of brood or maybe it was one of my three club uh three clubs Hells angels gypsy jokers or the outsiders i don't know which one that they said they was going to take over but that's not going to happen so you know they were running around telling people no he's got a co2 gun or it's a bb gun it's a toy he's out here pretending you know like it, a lot of a lot of these younger cats out here they think that when you join up with a gang or a club that you're supposed to be a part of anarchy. You're supposed to come out here and cause destruction and mayhem, or, or, or rob people, or do whatever you need to to get what you think is supposed to be yours. That is not why clubs and sets are put together. They are put together to protect an area where they feel the police are unable to be there all the time to do what needs to be done. They're not there to just steal, pillage, and rob. They're there to protect something. Usually it's their family members that are in the area that are being hurt, or their friends or their loved ones. Like, that's why sets and clubs are put together. That's why we organize ourselves. It's because we say we cannot have the police always over here. It's there, you know, they, they take an oath to protect us where it needs to be done. They can't always be here. 
Did, did you get bit by the police dog? Yeah, they, you know, uh, I guess since I walked in the wrong direction, I left my pistol in my tent. I showed them I was unarmed. You never showed the, your gun to the police, did you? No, I didn't I, I didn't point my gun to the police. You left it on your couch, huh? I left it on my bed in my tent, and I left my tent unarmed. I had, well, I had three pocket knives on me, but I did not have my pistol on me, and I showed them that I didn't have my pistol on me. Um, and since I walked in the, the, not the direction that the dude with the assault rifle told me to go in, they released the dog on me. I had already got shot by somebody else out here on the trail with a 22. And you had your hands up and they still sent the dog on you? No, I didn't put my hands up. So you're just walking out? I walked out with a, with a joint in my motherfucking hand and my lighter in my hand. <laughs> and I showed them that I was unarmed. You know I, you're lucky they didn't take you out, bro. Bro, they brought in the robots to cut my tent up. They brought in the drone. They threw a, a, a percussion grenade. Um, they had my tent completely surrounded with assault rifles on me. And yeah, I heard it was 36 cops and a couple cert teams, like tactical teams. I'm like sitting there saying, what the fuck did I do? And they couldn't send one person up walking to your tent to talk to you. They even sent in a, they sent a robot in holding the phone. <laughs> really? Legitimately. They sent the robot in holding the phone. And had an, uh, a negotiator talking to me on the phone about coming outside. Do you have any felonies? Nah. You don't? No, you... I have no prior felony record of any sort. No priors of violence towards police officers or anybody else. I, I have, like, my record, I've kept it clean. Like, I'm not going to say I haven't committed any crimes out there. It's just I've never, I've never been prosecuted for anything. I've never been caught for anything. I didn't. You know, I didn't do nothing that they could charge me with. Man, I think you're a pretty genuine dude, man. I mean, I think things got a little over-exaggerated. Conversations like with, like, a, a crisis negotiator, with just a person walking up and talking to you. If they would have called me, if I could have had someone that would have, you know, me and, you know, I could have walked out with you, bro. It would have all worked out different, don't you think? I, they I, didn't need to send in a dog. But, no, I mean, no, they really didn't. the it way, been, the it, way it worked out... Alone. You know, it bit into my bullet wound and then re-chomped down. And, and did you get stitches? No, I didn't get no stitches, no staples. It did. It did cut open the back of my my uh, knee back there. Like these damn skinny fucking jeans, I can't even pull them up enough for to even show you the wound. And I sure ain't gonna drop trowel out here in public. Well, hey man, area, but man, hey man, I appreciate you. We're gonna talk and have conversations. And uh, by far, we uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll give you info on where I'm staying at. Uh, and we'll be able to have a sit-down interview. Yeah. So that we're, you know, we got more time. That's It'll what we're going to do. warmer. This will be brief. So yeah. uh, there's only certain parts in this interview I'm going to use because I don't want it to incriminate you because you got an open case. I'm not, so, I'm not tripping on it. You know? So. Like, I want people to know what what happened. I want, the, I want them to know the, the realness, the rawness of it. Like, I feel like things got taken too far. They could have just walked up and spoke to me. They, the, the police officers were not in any danger at all like i didn't even understand why the fuck they were there <laughs> yeah uh i truly you know just my opinion i believe that someone's seen the video that and they knew that you you know from the video because it hit four million views and i believe that somebody's seen that and they just made a call and was like you know because a lot of people were saying oh this guy's on 92nd by the 205 freeway and i kept uh i was kept deleting those mess those those comments because people were trying to give your addy they were they were dropping the addy on you no but i kept deleting i kept dele deleting those well i thank you and, on that you know so that's why i didn't you know i didn't want nothing to you know escalate and then it ended up escalating farther than i ever would thought well i'm glad you're okay we're going to talk behind the scenes we're going to have a real sit down interview thank you guys for watching peace it's out boy serious yep